yeah, I still expect to go to Worlds, so um, our goals is currently we set as a goal as uh, top two, mm -hmm. which is kind of bold to do, I must say, but uh, that's what we're aiming for right now, so it might be hard, but I think it's possible. Hi guys, this is Tom reporting from the LEC, and with me here is Kreis, the top laner for XL Esports. How are you doing, man? I am doing uh, pretty okay. Very rough loss recently, but... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that um, that game against Mad Lions was actually pretty close uh, for a long time, and it looked very promising. Yep. Did, uh, did you expect to be able to stand up for Mad Lions for, for this long? For sure. I mean, I expected that we... I mean, I expected to win, so this was kind of just bad to lose, but uh, they're for sure a good team, and I do believe that next time, next bit, I think we can have a better chance for Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a pretty, I would say, maybe bold expectation to win against Mad Lions, because um, yeah. I suppose they are considered to be at least a uh, top two team in, in, in Europe. What made you so confident that you would be, be able to beat them? I feel like we had a pretty good draft set up and uh, we were just like pretty prepared for what they had. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure really what went wrong. We didn't really expect the twist of fate. I mean, we did, but it was kind of unexpected still because we didn't see much uh, playing solo queue or uh, what they had uh, played before. So it was kind of unexpected. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I just had a feeling that we were going to win, but I guess sometimes. Feelings that you know. It's a gut feeling. No. Yeah. Much. The um, the LEC is, is coming back after a uh, one weekend break, so you um, virtually had two weeks off uh, after after the last weekend. Though I can imagine there was a lot of scrimming in the in the in this week at least. There was. Um, after the um, last weekend, you in which you guys went two zero, very strong uh, result from you guys. What was your takeaway from that first half? What did you learn about from the summer split about you and your team? Um, I mean, I think we started off very poorly. I think that our start had something to do with the schedule. We were play, we were faced as the very strongest team in the beginning, um, and of course, uh, G two at the last as the last team. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think we kind of adapted our play style and improved and uh, got to know each other better like how we play in the team during this this season so i think this next split or this this next half of the split will be much better yeah something that was definitely noticeable um was the upward trend in the results and as well in how you guys just played it seemed it felt like you were much more in sync as a team is that a correct assessment uh yeah i guess you can say that I guess we got more in sync as the split progressed. Mm -hmm. And is that just um, sure. some natural progression? Um, because obviously you came in as a new player and special was the came in as a new mid laner, or was that something that um, maybe coaching also helped you achieve? I think just helped by playing the game and mm -hmm. just like screaming a lot and practicing a lot. I think that's what made us. Uh, become more in sync and just better better in general mm -hmm. you've been with uh, excel had, uh, some impact as well of course yeah. yeah yeah fair you've been with excel for uh well for competitive uh split now for let's say four and a half weeks uh, almost almost five um in terms of uh, actual weekends played in in the lec how have you found it on, to be on excel so far uh it's kind of interesting actually because we consider uh, like at least bottom tier team in mm. LSE so it's kind of interesting to actually contest the uh, higher tier teams and uh, to see to show what you actually can do as a bottom tier team <laughs> yeah uh, and I mean you joined Excel probably with the expectation that you would be able or at least the hope that you would be able to uh, set this upward trend and eventually climb yeah, um, sure. towards being able to contest these teams. 
yeah, I still expect to go to Worlds, so um, our goals is currently we set as a goal as uh, top two, mm -hmm. which is kind of bold to do, I must say, but uh, that's what we're aiming for right now, so it might be hard, but I think it's possible. Yeah. As long as we get to Worlds, I'm happy, honestly. <laughs> Right. Is that is that would you be unhappy with anything but worlds? Um it's my first split in LSE, so it might be a bit of a reach to get worlds for the first split. Mm -hmm. But it seems kinda reasonable to be honest. Because even though the split is very competitive, I still feel like we have uh, the right tools to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely admirable and I think the right mindset to have as a player, you want nothing but winning, right? And in this case, yeah. winning means going for the highest stage possible and even winning there, you know? So I, I definitely think it's uh, it's the right mindset to have at least. I mean, you're right, it, it, is, it will be an uphill climb for you guys from here, but if you don't have the it will mindset... Be hard. It will be hard, but uh, you should always reach for stars, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that's how you've uh, experienced being on the team uh, XL as a competitive, uh, from a competitive aspect, you know, that you still want to aim for the highest stage possible. How has it been for you as a person to be on XL? What is it like to be on the team? Uh, it has been pretty nice, actually. I think I have uh, evolved a lot since I got here as a player and as a person in general, because it's different living with a whole team than living. Uh, how about your family? So I think I've gotten less shy and uh, less introverted, I feel like. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's just, I've just evolved as a person, I think. Yeah, and they you've come a bit more out of your shell as a person uh, being yeah. with this team. Do they encourage you to, to speak up in, in Excel and to share your opinion? They do encourage me, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah. try to make me speak as much as possible and communicate everything and uh, I think we're on the way of uh, being pretty good at that. Yeah. Honestly. What have you noticed that you have been able to bring into the team with this uh, when, when you speak up? What, what is something that you can say, okay, with this input I helped steer the team or, you know, this is something I have an influence on? Um, I consider myself a pretty calm person and I try to keep my team calm like in scrims when people tilt mm -hmm. uh, I usually never tilt in scrims so that's a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, trait to have I guess mm -hmm. yeah you and, don't strike uh, me as somebody who gets very emotional during <laughs> during scrims no, no I don't get tilted during scrims I mean of course if something goes wrong it's sad but I don't get like mad or slow from my mistakes um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. What do you still think to to round up into? What does what does do you still think that um, as a person or as a player? Um, well, let's do both as a person and as a player. You can still learn from an Excel. What are what are uh, some things you think? Okay, at Excel, here are the areas I still can improve on. Um, I mean, it goes back to the I should talk more. For sure. I mm -hmm. should talk more in game and outside of game, I think. Um, as my coaches say, at least. <laughs> and I agree with them, I should co I should talk more. Um, also, I'm not really sure what else. Mm -hmm. That's mostly it, I guess. Be more communicative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's a good trait to have, right? All right, man. Um, I want to thank you very much for your time and I want to wish you the best of luck in the rest of the split as well. Thank you very much.